Monitoring of radioactivity in the environment, air, water, milk, uh, food supply, has been going on since the 50s when we had atomic testing going on. And there's two government agencies that are responsible for this. The first is the EPA, and the second is the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. The EPA runs what is called RADNET, which is a series of 124 sampling locations throughout the country, overseas, and in the U.S. possessions, which is looking for air samples or collecting air samples, uh, milk samples, um, precipitation from rainfall, and some of the foodstuffs to ensure that they do not contain levels of radiation which are believed to be harmful. The FDA has the job of looking at the food supply, particularly food supply that is imported from other countries. And as you can imagine during this uh, crisis in Japan that they're focused on food coming into the West Coast or from Japan in general. And in fact, they uh, have stepped up their activities uh, for food supplies that are coming from northern Japan. The good news at this point on April 8th is that it looks like the, plans are st the plants are stabilizing over Japan, and that the actual levels that we are detecting, the trace levels in this country, have been dropping. And so we don't expect that we would see increased uh, concentrations in any of the food supply, milk, water, or air, um, uh, provided the plants uh, continue to be uh, under control.